We're here with head coach David Smalley, joined by Kaylee Durnell and Ella Skeens. Um, coach, let's just talk about you guys built a commanding lead and then from there only strengthened it and then just really kind of dominated in the second half. So let's just talk about that to start. Well, first of all, uh, Grace College is a very, very good basketball team and I think an up, up and coming team of the future and Coach Davis has done a great job with them. and. They, they created some uh, preparation problems for us. They had a great inside game. Their post players on the inside, um, number 42 Feldman and uh, there's a couple others, they had great footwork. And watching them against Pikeville yesterday kind of very much concerned us a little bit. Uh, but I thought our players come out, we, we had a schematic, defensive schematic where we wanted to make sure that we didn't let them get started on the inside but that first half was kind of you know pull, we pulled away then uh, they hit a three at the at the end of the first quarter then they come out with possession in the second quarter and hit another three i think we we're up 11 and they hit those two threes and that was six points and it was a five point game but then i think we went in at halftime and had a little bit of a cushion maybe a 10 or 11 point but i'm telling you we just turned it on that third quarter they only scored seven points um, we scored 27, and that was the that was really the ball game at that point. Uh, and I thought our players just did a tremendous job. I thought the coaches did a great job of subbing with platoon in the post because we wanted to make sure that they uh, that we kept their bigs uh, running up and down the floor. Um, I thought we had some great play from our guard spot again. I thought Asia Williams come out. She actually we turned it over on the first possession. Then we turned it over on the second possession. And one of the officials ran up the floor and said, "Well, this is a." Uh, an auspicious start to the game. I've got to look that word up, but I think I understood what he said. And but then from that point on, we kind of settled down. Um, you know, Kaylee Darnell over here, obviously 26 points. What'd you get last night? 27. Yeah. Something exactly. like that. So, you know, that 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 was huge for us. Ella found herself in foul trouble again, but you know that was the third time, and it's over with. I can't wait to see what this young lady does. Uh, on the 13th, which is Monday against Campbellsville. But a great a great win for a, a, a program that deserves it. Uh, hosting the first round, second round, first time ever for the University of Rye Grand Athletics in the national tournament for the NAIA. And I, can't, I could not be any more proud of these young ladies for who they are, more importantly for who they are and how they get along and, and their accomplishments. Um, Coach, let's just talk for a second about, you know, you already kind of touched on it. It was a total team effort. And then um, just touch on kind of the seniors and sort of what this meant for them and, sure. you know, historical moment. Um, so we'll just go there. So it, it is a team effort. Every every time we play this, so, oh, and we're now, we're 30 wins and three, three losses. losses. So that's, that's back crazy. Back to that's back so years of, or, yeah. Back-to-back -back season not, yeah. of 30 wins, uh, and that's so that's so cool. Not not very many people can say that they've done that, and they're so unselfish. You know, we end up with 26 assists. We were a little frustrated with that at uh, halftime. I think it was 12, maybe, but we came out yeah. with 14 assists in the second second half. They're so unselfish, <laughs> and you know, we talk about our seniors. Talk about. Um, uh, our, our, we have three seniors. You have Courtney Pfeiffer, who, who played some great minutes in recent games, uh, got in a little bit this, this evening. Uh, she's going to be a teacher, and she has been a, a foundation block in this program for four years, a tremendous student athlete, uh, one of the purest three-point shooters that I've seen uh, in, in my career. Uh, Mikhail Bates, who started out the year playing but had a had – a, an issue with her ear, had to have uh, surgery on her ear and, and was no longer allowed to play, uh, but she's on the bench and she's becoming a coach. She, it is unbelievable. She's there every day in practice. Um, she help, helps with scouting reports. Uh, she's also in education and she's going to be, she and Courtney are going to be tremendous teachers. Um, and then Ella, who is still playing, uh, this is um, her fifth, fifth year. year uh, local young lady from uh, Southeastern High School, which is just up the road about 45 minutes from here. Uh, she played at University of Dayton, University of Dayton, and she played at Ball State. And then she came here and finished out the two years here. And she has reset a lot of our records uh, throughout 
scoring and rebounding. And it really, I believe if, if we get on a roll with these two here and with the, the crew that we're having and the way we're playing, if we can go deep and win a national championship, I think we have the national player of the year sitting at this table. So that is so cool. Um, so these three seniors are, it's always tough to see your seniors go. Uh, they're great kids. Uh, you know, you get emotionally attached to them. Um, but as you know, it's just one of those things. It's part of part of the process, part of the life. All three of them are going to stay in basketball. Courtney wants to coach at the high school level. Mikhail wants to coach at the high school level. Ella wants to coach at the college level. So that, to me, is a legacy that I, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to be really excited about to watch that develop. Um, Ella, Kaylee, just kind of talk about for you know what this was for you guys, like the whole experience, and then you've still got a lot more games to play, hopefully. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I I've, I've said it before, and you know, an interview we did prior earlier. Um, you know, this is what we work for, and this is what we train for on the off season, on the preseason, and I think we really expect it out of each other, and you know, don't expect anything less to win a championship, and you know go as far as we can and you know the feelings unreal to to make history and you know we you know the sky's the limit we don't know how far we can go and you know we're going to leave it all out there and it's just a, an amazing you know feeling and I, I'm glad we get to celebrate it now but you know tomorrow and the next day we just got to get to work and I um, look forward to it. Right and I agree with everything she says like it's a national tournament like survive in advance. Uh, this this group is super special so we're going to work together as long as we can. Um, it's fun to play with these girls. Uh, we're such we're close off the court, on the court. Um, and how can you not like want to do that for your fans? The atmosphere was crazy tonight, and I mean, kudos to them um, for coming out and supporting yeah, us. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to do it without them and the support that they've given us, you know, over this year and last year of me being here. Coach, anything you want to add? Let's just keep it going, ladies. Keep we're it going. going. Whether we're on a bus, uh -oh, we're whether we're on a plane, we're going to Sioux City, Sioux City. Baby. Let's go. and we're going to play four games. There's four games left in our tanks, right? For sure. Four games left, all I, right? I'm in foul trouble. I'm ready to go now. Let's boom, go. Boom, <laughs> boom, boom. All right. Yeah.